What's up, guys? It's Codex, and we are back in Elden Ring. Today, we are taking a look at the new game plus. So we are at the table of grace here. And uh, ooh, as you can see down at the bottom, it's going to say begin journey two. But before we do that, we're going to take a look at a couple things. So first of all, we're going to take a look at some of the equipment, like the Moon Veil is plus 10. My Rogers Rapier is plus 25. Got the Ghost Flame 24. And you know, we've got Rodons. we got some of these. Uh, we got lots of nice talismans going on, guys, for uh, the build here. And we got the Flask with the Cerulean Hidden Tier and the Magic Shroud and Crack Tier. So we can see that we have uh, lots of stuff in the inventories as well. And we got like our Mimic level 10 here. We got some like fish. And then we're kind of curious to see what exactly stays. And we got our Ancient Dragon Smithing Stone. Hopefully that stays. I really don't have to go get another one. And I'm expecting all these great ruins will be going away. That, that'd be kind of cheese if we got to keep them. Although there is a little bit of a glitch. Whatever one you do have a quit before you start your new game. Whenever you uh, crush one of those rune arcs, you do still get the bonus. And the first time you put on Godric, it'll ask if you want to replace your current one, even though you're not really supposed to have one. So it is a little bit of a cheese going into New Game Plus because you still get to quote unquote get keep your great ruin okay and as you see here my map's pretty pretty filled out uh i got a lot of the bonfires or uh graces here so we did a lot of exploring we found a lot of the nooks and crannies and did a lot of the side quests so all these are going to disappear hopefully the map stays open which i'm told it should i'm just gonna lose all my shrines so let's begin oh i'm so nervous and yeah i'm so excited okay i just want to make sure that everything's up and begin journey two if you begin journey two you'll not be able to return to the present world of journey one <sighs> let's do this Journey to. Journey to the center of the earth. Okay, so we got a little bit of a loading screen. I'm assuming it may take uh, a minute or two because it's going into... Oh, wow, that was quick. And where's it going to plop us? I'm wondering who's going to plop us in the church. Uh, ready to take on the Scion. Okay. So we got the beginning opening again. We're just going to skip past that. We've already seen it on the playthrough one, guys. Oh, I'm really excited. I'm really, I'm very curious of where it's going to drop me. And uh, I do hope I get to keep all my upgrades. Here we go. Oh, yeah, I'm wearing everything. So let's take a look. All my equipment, everything looks the same. Oh, I even got everything in my inventory still. Oh, let's go in there. Yeah, so you do get to keep all your ashes. You get to keep everything in inventory. I probably should have uh, bought some more stones and stuff before. And as ex expected, all my great ruins are gone. But I still have like my map pieces, which is nice. All my spells. Arts of War. So it looks like everything is here. And, yeah, looks like it plopped us right back here in the temple. And I still get to see where everything is, like the Atlas Tunnel and the Shrine. So that's kind of nice that they still do give those markers. Uh, I wouldn't be upset if they got rid of them, not going to lie. Uh, <laughs> but we do have uh, the Shrines uh, that we are going to be able to get back again. And, as you see, even my custom markers from my Game 1 are still here. Okay, if you guys liked today's video, make sure to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I will see you guys in the next one.